Okay, here we are in the Atelier Quattro. I'm still with Daniel Lanzalotta. On the lighter side, the more wacky side of uh, the plastic process, um, you saw my necklace, I have my lovely earring, and when we go over to Danny, you'll see the lovely hat he has. Uh, anyway, Danny, um, we worked on a uh, canning process today with a local butcher, and I want to let Daniel explain what's this canning process about. The whole canning thing is about taking plastic stuff that I I've, I've found on the beaches for the last 20 years and still continue to collect stuff. It's, just, it's a joke about what's happening to the food chain. Basically, the food chain has been uh, um, contaminated with plastic. Little fish eats plastic, micro, um, nano plastic that breaks down. Uh, big fish eats the little fish. We eat the fish, the food chain, and we become uh, poisoned, essentially, by plastic. So it's, just, it's a joke about, you know, Let's just directly get the plastic from me, right? You can buy these 25 euros, and you can contact me at uh, garbageinartout.com. And it's, it's a comment. It's a social comment about what's happening to the food chain. It's being uh, destroyed and poisoned by consumption of plastics and the, uh, the indiscriminate use of plastics and how it's discarded. Right, the throw a plastic, the wackiness. The consumption. Uh, culture of, you know, I use it now, I throw it away. Yeah, and, and, that's it. And, your, and your art brings out the wackiness of it in different ways, the hat right. we're wearing, the, the, the necklace I'm wearing, uh, the lovely artwork that people would just like to have on a wall that looks, that's exactly. beautiful, but these, these cans are making a deeper statement because obviously on someone's wall that wouldn't look as nice as some as this, but I think the statement with the canning process is a lot, is a lot deeper, it's a lot heavier, even though it's a joke. So, um, so tell me, you were talking about the numbers before. Uh, well, what, what's the, 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 the studies? Shows? The studies that have come out is that um, uh, the fish life that eats plankton, like shrimp, say, they're eat, they're, they, they don't know that the plankton has 10% higher ratio of plastic in the food than what is the, 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 the actual plankton. I mean, it's 10% higher in plastic than plankton. So the fish are eating this stuff. They can't digest it. They're dying. It's causing all kinds of problems in the food chain. We're eating it. It's uh, it, um, hormone disruptors. We're getting sick from it. We're dying from cancers. And I'm just saying, uh, as, as, as a little aside, you know, if you're going to eat plastic, just, just you know, munch on a... <laughs> you directly out of the can. Have, have, yeah, have a chest piece. There you go. Skip the middle, man. Skip the fish. Just go for it. You like a boot? Have a boot. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, that's great. I mean, I love the statement, Danny. I mean, your artwork brings a lot of joy to people's lives, and people, people pay money to have this art on their wall, but it's also it's your humor bringing a, a problem to the fore. I really enjoy it. Thank you, Daniel, Thank for, you. for bringing that uh, to the world in your art form. And... Um, here we are saying goodbye once again from Atelier Quattro with Daniel Lanzalotta and his, um, his wacky, wonderful art bringing real problems to the world of art and letting us be aware of our consumerist lifestyles and where we're heading with it. Thank you, Joe Diamidi, Telemont Brom, Biritz, France.